Do you want to go from maybe a vintage 8mm look to a cinematic widescreen look all in the same video? Well, let's see how to do this in Resolve. First thing you want to do is lay out all your clips on your timeline, do all your editing, all your color correction, and so forth. In this particular case, I made it real simple. I just have two clips. I've also got this stock footage that uh, mimics the vintage film I got on the internet. And all I had to do was put that in here and then go into Inspector and then do an overlay. That way it provides kind of that uh, grainy uh, vintage uh, film look. Select all of your clips on that whole timeline and then do uh, right click new compound clip. So I'm going to just say final video, call it that. All right. Now, what we want to do is go into Inspector. So here's where we're going to adjust the entire video uh, and adjust the, the viewing aspect ratio. So in my case, I'm going to start off by mimicking, say, an 8 millimeter look, and then I'm going to have a transition actually directly to a more of a cinematic widescreen look. Okay, so select the composite clip, and we're going to go into the inspector, and I'm going to go in here and crop, and I'm just going to start off, since I'm going to start off with uh, this vintage kind of 8 millimeter look, I'm going to start off like this with the letter box on the side. Okay. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go and set a keyframe. So we're going to go out here, I don't know, a few, a, a few seconds or so. And I'm going to go and register a keyframe to kind of lock that in place. And then I'm going to begin to transition over the next several seconds. So right here, a few seconds out, I'm just going to go and lock in another keyframe so that I get the horizontal effect. Okay? So that's how it goes. It's right about the time that the vintage film ends that it completes that transition. Now to make this a little a little more enhanced, I'm going to actually transition right into a cinematic aspect ratio. So I'm going to go out here about here or so. And what I'm going to do is add a keyframe here for the top and the bottom so that I can get the letter box. And then where this ends, I'm going to have it complete its transition so that as the right and left are ending, I'm also going to have the top and bottom end. So I'm just going to put in here, say 190 or so. It's roughly about it. So now when you look at this, I start the beginning and then it begins to transition kind of has a, a dual transition there and then for the rest of my video I'm in the a cinematic kind of aspect ratio okay that's all you have to do if you do need to make changes to your original clips individual clips you can right click and then go into open in timeline and you can edit as you see fit if you have any questions uh, please leave those below otherwise please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial peace